Well, Chris, 2 0 against Ipswich Town today. Just put into words your emotions at the achievement today. It's just been an, an, an incredible afternoon that tops off an, an incredible, well, three years really for myself personally. Um, but I'm unbelievably uh, humbled um, to be part of a fantastic, fantastic group and being involved at, at, at this club that's, uh, that's obviously very, very close to my heart. The group as a whole in the moment, from you personally, from Bradway to, <laughs> to Billionaires Row, it yeah. has been a long journey, but what a journey. That's speeded up dramatically in the last three years. Yeah, it has, yeah. I mean, you know, however you, you know you want to you get to where you want to get to, you know, different, different pathways and everybody sees it, but I'm, I'm proud as punch that, you know, I'm, I've got my family, uh, I've got my family here, uh, 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 supporters. I've got my pals in all, all over the ground, and you know times where, you know, as a as as, a, as obviously a player played here, and as a supporter going to the likes of Southend away on a on a bank holiday, Wrexham away on a uh, Johnson's Paint Trophy night, and the game got called off after 10 minutes. And <laughs> I've always said, you know, to be a supporter of this football club, you, you've got to have something. You've got to be a little bit different in in, in a lot of ways. You know, it's not a, it's not a glory hunting club. It's not always about winning, winning league after league after league. Um, you know, from the highs to the lows to the highs, and um, to to uh, to reward our supporters who have had to take an enormous amount of grief for quite a long time. There were two or three things that have gone against us: being out of um, being out of uh, the championship for six years in the pub league, as as everybody likes to remember it by. But now we're. We're in the Champagne League now, so Peroni, isn't it? Not uh, Champagne. Uh, well, yeah, 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 it will be. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got to keep true to me to me roots. But no, it's 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 uh, it's it's an amazing achievement, you know, from from the players. And um, as I said, I'm I'm the one that stands out here, and and people talk about, and I get um, I get that it's humbling, but there's a lot of unbelievable hard work done by by the staff. I've just had a staff meeting in there. Um, and I said about, you know, away from the lights, the work that those guys do to set the team up. And then you talk about the team, you talk about the journey that they've been on, you talk about Mark Duffy, you know, from Prescott Cables, and he's going to play at Anfield and you see him in the last 10 minutes of this game and he wasn't going to let that opportunity slip. I think about the balls about the team in terms of people talking about we're going to fall away, we're going to fall away, we're going to fall away. You know, 14 points from the last seven games at business end of the season when it's absolutely cranked up with a team that shouldn't have been anywhere near the top of the division and we have been for the last two years. It's just an amazing achievement by everybody. And I think that, you know, supporters will recognise this, this this group of players and will hold them in, in unbelievably high regard. You know, there's been some fantastic teams played down here, some fantastic players, you know, TC's on the pitch at the death, you know, and his group of players and I see Badge and I see Ted. My old mate Alan Hodgkinson who I work with um, at uh, uh, at Oxford, hopefully he'll be he'll be looking down on G because uh, he always wanted me to get this job. It was a, it was a club close to his heart as well. Obviously he's not here, but and then you go from there into into the Bassett teams with a little bit of success there, and obviously Neil's team a little bit of success. So I think you know we deserve an enormous amount of credit, and those players deserve to be talked about in the, in the in the same breath as what what those teams have, have have been talked about. And how important is it that, as well as all the ability that all the players bring in, that they are such a they are a, such a humble, down to earth group of lads. Well, it, it's such a connection between you know in a in a day and age of Premier League players and Championship players that swan around and. You know, I'm, I'm I'm so proud. We set the we set the club up to be like this. This is a proper working man working men's club, man's club that uh, you know people have to graft. Well, I'm, I I don't ask. They have to. They have to be part of a group. You know, Simon Moore there, who's had to watch Dean Henderson week in week out. You know, and he's he's you know he's pushed Dean all the way. The group have have, have been an unbelievable group to work with. Um, you know, they've. As I said, they've, they've, some of them have been disappointed when they're not playing, but they push and then they come back into the team and they gain those vital points that allows you to, to be near, near the top of the division. So, you know, the, the, it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing achievement, and like I said, from a group that, that started off uh, with three defeats out of four in, 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 the first, in the first month of the season. <laughs>